To the graduating class of 2021, today we celebrate over 90,000 graduating SUNY students. I know this is not how you expected your final semester to have gone. Since March of last year, as the world went into quarantine and we began a new normal of social distancing and masking up, you had to adapt to the uncertainties of what was to come to juggle new responsibilities, all while continuing on the path of completing your education. In the face of a global health crisis, you persevered. Whether it was making the transition to online learning, having to move back home to continue your studies, or not being able to be with your friends, teammates, and a favorite faculty and staff member. And despite it all, many of you stepped up to help out your campuses on the front lines with their COVID-19 efforts, from volunteering with testing, to administering vaccines, to providing academic support to those struggling with remote learning. You made sure that your communities were being taken care of. That is who SUNY is. That's who you are. You also created art, conducted research, and found your passions. You did it all, and I know it hasn't been easy. But today we celebrate your hard-earned and well-deserved degree. Although many of our campuses are unable to celebrate this important milestone with you, with all the pop and circumstance that you deserve, let it be known that we are all so proud of the class of 2021. The grit and determination you have shown to complete your studies, no matter the obstacles thrown in your way. You are to be admired, lauded, and always remembered. I'll cherish the opportunities I've had this year to meet so many of you, both in person and virtually, and to hear your inspiring stories. Like Madison Cunningham, who I met at my visit to Corning Community College, who is creating a toy for children with sensory processing disorders using 3D printing, and volunteers her time at the local hospital. Or Ilion Alexandre, a first-generation U Albany student and a recipient of the Norman R. McConney Jr. Award for Student Excellence, who hopes to continue on to medical school and work in emergency medicine. And Ramatu Muhammad, a SUNY Potsdam International Studies major and diversity ambassador who will be continuing her studies at the Johns Hopkins School of Advanced International Studies. Or Jacob Eckhouse from Binghamton University, who through the Student Voices Action Committee helped create the Food Pantry Refrigeration Grant Program for all SUNY campuses. Or Kaylee Hosrath of SUNY Geneseo, who stepped up as a student volunteer using her training as an operations chief for Geneseo First Response EMT service when all students had to be tested before leaving for Thanksgiving break. And Darian Hunt from Farmingdale State College, who recently received the inaugural Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Chancellor's Award for Student Excellence for being a champion of racial justice and equity on his campus. An Omar guy who grew up in Gambia and who is now completing his studies at Sullivan. As you all look toward the future, know that your SUNY education has prepared you to succeed in whatever you put your mind to, whether it be furthering your education or joining the workforce. You and your fellow graduates will continue the SUNY legacy of leaving a positive impact on your communities, always striving to solve for our world's most pressing problems and being stewards of excellence and innovation. As the newest members of the three million strong SUNY alumni family, I wish you luck as you start this exciting next chapter in your life. And I look forward to seeing all that you accomplish. I know you will do great things. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Lieutenant Governor Kathy Hochul, and first of all, my heartfelt congratulations to the class of 2021 and to all the people, your family, your friends, your professors who helped you make it here today. Surely a year ago when the class of 2020 was denied their rite of passage with an in-person graduation, you thought by the time you graduate, the pandemic would be gone and life would be back to normal, right? Well, here we are. Yet despite enduring uncertainty and setbacks for more than a year of COVID, you still met the rigorous academic standards required to earn a diploma from a great New York State institution. But far more than the academics that every class before you and those that follow have to meet, your education, particularly since 2020, has been utterly unique. Each of you are now qualified to teach a master class in adaptability essential life skills, and resiliency. Not sure? Just hear me out. You are now entering into a world which has been radically altered. Forces beyond our control have changed our economy, our society, 
and indeed have changed each and every one of us. You are now bonded with others in the class of 2021 across the nation in a shared moment in history that will define a generation. And I guarantee that at your 50th reunion, you'll be talking about what you endured, the sacrifices you made, how you missed your classmates and your professors, how you had the additional hardship of finishing your education through enormous stress. But through it all, missing the final days with your friends and the celebration of graduation, you endured. And it is that endurance, resiliency, and a toughness, coupled with compassion and a newfound appreciation for people in all walks of life, from healthcare workers to grocery store cashiers, to countless fellow citizens who selflessly rose to meet the occasion. All of this has built a foundation for your character that will serve you for as long as you live. You may not feel like it yet, but your experience surviving the global pandemic of 2020-2021 is a rock upon which you will measure all future challenges, setbacks, and whatever life throws your way. Just like the greatest generation who endured and survived the Great Depression and World War II, you and members of your class have the potential to be a generation that is held in esteem and awe for the grit and spirit of determination that got you to this graduation today. These traits will carry you forward into a world of uncertainty, yet one of unlimited possibility. Once you walk across the virtual stage, you'll be entering a whole new era, one where we have far more questions than answers. But as a college-educated adult, you will now be called upon to help shape the answers to the burning questions of the day. Like how do we eradicate racial and social injustice? How do we foster more inclusivity for marginalized communities? How will we meet the challenge of climate change? How do we address the future of work and workplaces? How do we solve the healthcare inequities and better prepare for the next viruses that are sure to come? You are needed to help define our post-pandemic world and to answer these questions. Now, our country is turning to you, our next generation, for inspiration and hope as you build your own legacy and strive toward a more just, civil, and inclusive society. So more than just wearing a cap and tassel on your head, you also now wear the weight of these responsibilities on your shoulders. Class of 2021, as the curtain of social distancing and isolation begins to lift, more and more are vaccinated, and we venture out from this period of darkness. Use your newly acquired education as the launch pad to lift off from and soar high. Use your passion and your most recent experiences to help shape our post-pandemic society into one that promotes generosity, love, and kindness. That's exactly what this world needs right now and your fellow New Yorkers are counting on you to help lead the way. Congratulations on this amazing accomplishment. Hi, I'm Becky Wittish, Chairman of the Niagara County Legislature. Congratulations to all of our graduates. Not only have you achieved something great by reaching this point today, but you've done it under some of the most trying circumstances that any graduating class has ever faced. Your resiliency and determination to continue your education studies through the COVID-19 pandemic speaks volumes about who you are as individuals and collectively as a graduating class. And perhaps that will be the great lesson of this pandemic. Throughout this ordeal at times, we've been more isolated, more alone, more independent, and more self-reliant than perhaps at any other point in our lives. Yet at the same time, it underscored how much we all need each other for the actions of one could impact entire families or even entire communities. Those who stepped up like our healthcare workers and first responders epitomized what it means to be selfless and courageous. And this end of this terrible time is only going to come when we all realize that our individual choices, especially about getting the vaccine, are not just about our health, but that of everyone around us. So again, congratulations, and please never forget these lessons. You are strong, savvy, and independent, and should pursue your passions. Yet at the same time, you're part of a global community where we're all depending on each other. Thank you. My name is Gina Virtuoso. I'm the chairperson of Niagara County Community College Board of Trustees. 
It gives me great pleasure to welcome you here today. Graduates, honored guests, family members, faculty, staff, alumni, administrators, our military families, Dr. Murabito, and the Board of Trustees to the 57th Annual Commencement. To the graduates, this is your day. Greetings and thank you for joining us virtually. As we celebrate the Niagara County Community College Class of 2021, it has been a difficult year for all of us. This day should mean that much more to each and every one of you. Proving hard work and perseverance pays off. Never give up. Make the best out of a bad situation. And I can say with certainty here today that each and every one of you have proven that. As you leave here today, I would like to share with you something a wise man once told me. Always follow your dreams and especially always follow your heart. Because in life, if you do something that you love, you will never work another day in your life. I am delighted to be part of this historical occasion as we celebrate the accomplishments of our graduates as they receive their degrees and continue to find success in their educational and career paths. I, along with the other members of the Board of Trustees, including Vice Chair William Ross, Financial Secretary Jason Caffarella, Secretary Bonnie Sloma, Trustee Catherine Alexander, Trustee Kevin Clark, Trustee Sheila Smith, Trustee Gerald Wolfgang, and Student Trustee Maurice Jackson. We extend our wishes to you for a bright and prosperous future ahead. Congratulations, class of 2021, and enjoy your day. Greetings to the graduates of the class of 2021, and thank you to the families, friends, professors, and other individuals that are joining us virtually to support these students and celebrate their accomplishments. While this ceremony highlights the academic achievements of NCCC's graduates, it is especially noteworthy for our graduates to be recognized for finishing their degrees during a time in world history that has been so challenging. Education is a process of teaching, training, and learning, especially in schools, colleges, and universities, to improve knowledge and develop skills. At NCCC, the teaching and training and learning is often conveyed in a practical, hands-on manner. Though the global pandemic may have altered the way instructors conveyed course material, in many cases you, as resilient students, found ways to make most of your education experiences at NCCC. As president of NCCC, I am proud of our graduates and know your skills would be highly sought after following graduation. I am honored to address a group of individuals that recognize the value of community service as well. During this global pandemic, it has been necessary that we pull together to support and care for one another. Seeing this need to help the community, you collected food to donate to community missions in Niagara Falls, participated in blood drives to restock the local blood supply in hospitals during a critical time, decorated cards to lift the spirits of nursing home residents who were unable to receive visitors, and collected gifts for local students uh, during the holidays. This type of service learning is an important foundation of a community college experience. Professional tennis player Arthur Ashe once said, from what we get, we can make a living. What we give, however, makes a life. The education you have received here at NCCC will ensure success in your future careers. The rich human experiences you shared with your fellow students will help create a meaningful connection for NCCC for the rest of your life. May you look back on the years at NCCC with great pride for all you have learned, for all you have overcome, and for the numerous ways you have grown. Congratulations, class of 2021. 
Best wishes for a healthy and prosperous life. Good evening, class of 2021. Two years ago, I would have never thought that I would be granted the privilege of speaking before you all on this special day. But I'm sure it's safe to say that we all had different expectations of our college experience. Nonetheless, through this screen, I would like to commemorate each and every student for their achievements and perseverance, though our worlds have been flipped upside down. All of your hard work has led to this, the day we have all been waiting for. Before I continue, I would like to share a few thank you remarks. Firstly, thank you to President William Morabito, the Niagara County Community College Board of Trustees, Vice President of Student Services, Julia Pittman, and everyone in administration for your tireless efforts towards supporting our students and providing the resources we need through these unusual times. Secondly, a huge thank you to those in the Office of Student Life and Athletics for maintaining and creating programs that are both safe and engaging for the campus community. Next, I thank the faculty and staff of both campuses of Niagara County Community College. On behalf of the students, we deeply appreciate your dedication to guiding our students to success. We are not the only ones who have succumbed to the difficulties that this pandemic has brought. Thank you for continuing to educate us in ways that accommodate the virtual world that we live in today. Last and certainly not least, I would like to thank my fellow students of the class of 2021. Thank you for your time here tonight, your resilience this past year, and most importantly, your devotion to pursuing education. Congratulations, we finally made it. The world around us is a textbook in the making. The challenges of this pandemic and everything that has transpired through recent times will all be important moments in history. But this moment, this page in the book is yours. Your time as a student at this institution will be forever written in your story. Let us always cherish these times and never let go of our Thunderwolf spirit. As we begin this new chapter of our lives, be proud of all that you have done to get where you are today. Though what comes next for us may be different, we have all succeeded alongside one another through the face of adversity. And for that, we shall celebrate. I know this isn't what we expected or what we asked for, but we are able to say that we have learned so much and will grow from our experiences. I encourage you all to continue that growth into your future endeavors. I am so humbled to have had this opportunity to share my congratulations with you all tonight and thank you once again for your time. Congratulations and good luck to you all. Greetings to the students, your families, President Mirabito, faculty, and the Board of Trustees of Niagara County Community College. I'm so honored to be with you today to deliver the commencement speech for the graduating class of 2021. When I was asked to deliver this speech, I of course was very flattered and incredibly happy to do so. And I was thinking of what to say, I thought, oh, wow, what a year. Whether you're a student, a seasoned professional, a teacher, an essential worker, or a parent, we've all experienced something quite remarkable this past year. And though there has been loss, conflict, fear, I would like to take a few moments to focus on the positive, to focus on embracing change and building resilience. I think of you college students as being the epitome of these concepts. Even without the pandemic, I understand that NCCC is known as the smart place to start. Those are pretty simple yet powerful words. They project the beginning of a journey. They give off a sense of change being on the horizon. Whether you're accepting a degree that will kick off your career tomorrow or are preparing for a specific trade or transfer to a four-year college, Life really changes today. And I could wager many of you in the last couple of years have been in awe of how much you have already changed since when you first started college. You've probably looked at your parents or your friends at different times on this journey and uttered the words, I can't believe how much I've changed since I started classes at NCCC. You're in college with the expectation of transforming into a more enlightened, focused individual. 
And the truth is, there's no way you can move through life without changing. Heraclitus, the Greek philosopher, said, there's nothing permanent except change. In healthcare, we know change all too well. In a sense, it's actually our business model. At Mount St. Mary's Hospital, when individuals come into our care, they are hoping for relief. They are hoping for positive change. They walk through our doors, trusting their ailments will be healed by our doctors and nurses, and that they will leave our care better than when they arrived. Webster's Dictionary defines change as a verb that means to alter, to vary, to modify, to make or become different. That doesn't sound so bad, right? But if you think about change, a lot of times it can be uncomfortable. I think most of us hope that when these inevitable changes happen in our lives, they're the ones that are positive, painless changes. Patients in our hospitals are hoping to, for positive change. You at school are hoping for this educational experience to bring positive change as well. And those kinds of changes happen for our patients and for you as students every day. But this past year, a change happened that wasn't so positive and that wasn't written into your curriculum, a global pandemic. It was scary, it was unpredictable, it was heartbreaking. But we are working so hard to get on the other side of this. So, as we weather this storm and weather the many other changes that will inevitably come into our lives, I want to give you five pieces of advice. One, expect change to be uncomfortable. Author Roy T. Bennett once said, Change begins at the end of your comfort zone. Number two, be prepared to be quick on your feet. You won't always have time to prepare in the moment, but use proactive preparation. You'll be able to make change less cumbersome. Number three, stay in control, be calm, be confident. Motivational speaker Dennis Waitley said you must welcome change as the rule but not as your ruler. Number four, appreciate our interconnectedness. If you've learned anything, it is that we are stronger together. I watched our hospital and our staff come together during the pandemic in a way that was extraordinary. All of us could look at each other every day, planning and caring for our patients and see how much we were so much stronger together. Our doctors, nurses, associates in imaging, lab, pharmacy, nutritional services, environmental services, all needed one another to overcome what was happening around us. We also had our community. The Air Force did a hospital flyover. The local ambulance and fire companies gave us parades. Countless meals were delivered by local restaurants to our frontline essential workers, including a very special dessert from NCCC. Together we have worked through this. Because we are all going through this together, families, friends, and neighbors. We're all interconnected. And finally, fifth, reflection. When you find yourself in a moment of, of quiet and solitude, reflect on your journey and the courage and resilience you have demonstrated in the midst of this change, even unpleasant change. Author Napoleon Hill wrote, the strongest oak of the forest is not the one that is protected from the storm and hidden from the sun. It's the one that stands in the open where it is compelled to struggle for its existence against the winds, the rain, and the scorching sun. So if you find that you are that oak tree who has struggled and competed against the elements, be brave, be strong, be proud and be grateful. Find significance in what change has meant for your life thus far and what change means as you continue on your journey and embrace it. Congratulations, class of 2021. I am pleased to present to you all the candidates for the degree of Associate in Applied Science, Associate in Science, associate in the arts and all certificates. 
These students have been recognized by the faculty and administration as having fulfilled all degree requirements. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents of the University of the State of New York, by the Board of Trustees of the State University of New York, and by the Board of Trustees of Niagara County Community College, upon the fulfillment of all requirements and upon the recommendations of the faculty of Niagara County Community College, I am pleased and privileged and do hereby confer upon you, now assembled, and upon those in absentia, with all the privileges, rights, and responsibilities, the degrees of Associate in Applied Science, Associate in Science, Associate in Arts, and all certificates. Grace Ackerman, Animal Management, AAS. Austin Anderson, Liberal Arts and Sciences, Humanities and Social Sciences, AA. Tatiana Ponchuk, Nursing, AAS. Gabrielle Archer, Medical Assistant, AAS, and Phlebotomist Certificate. Charmaine Bartolome, Nursing, AAS. Joseph Beltrano, Computer Information Systems, Associate of Science. Kaylee Bernard, Radiologic Technology, AAS. Thomas Berner, Recreation Studies, Associate of Science. Monazaya Bidding, Accounting, Associate of Science. Elizabeth Bolsover, Animal Management, AAS. Gabriella Vittoria Bonura, Psychology, Associate of Science. Destiny Monet Brumfield, Baking Pastry Arts, AAS. Jennifer Buell Kunkel, Business, Business Administration. Associate of Science. Jamie Bullers. Human Services, AA, and Chemical Dependency Counseling, Certificate. Victoria Carberry. Baking Pastry Arts, AAS. Kayla Carmer. Psychology, Associate of Science. Lance Carter, Jr. Culinary Arts, AAS. Kayla Cotelfamo. Nursing, AAS. Corinne Chamberlain. Surgical Technology, AAS. Delanai Charnley. Nursing, AAS. Garrick Charnley, Nursing, AAS. Caitlin Chatterton, Animal Management, AAS. Krista Elizabeth Sayadella, Liberal Arts and Sciences, Humanities and Social Sciences, AA. Alexis Cleveley. Human Services, AA, and Disability Studies, Certificate. Alexandra Clifford, Animal Management, AAS. Joseph Colson, Liberal Arts and Science, Mathematics and Science, AS. Lydia Conlin Richards. Digital Media, Associate of Science. Eliza Conyers. Physical Education Studies, Associate of Science. Deandra Cook. Surgical Technology, AAS. Aaron Coulter. Computer Science, Associate of Science. 
Juanita Davila. Chemical Dependency Counseling Certificate. Guinevere de John. Biology Associate of Science. Connor Devantier, Nursing, AS. Andrea D. Christopher, Nursing, AAS. Jessica Dittmer, Criminal Justice, Associate of Science. Rachel Dixon, Psychology, Associate of Science. Anna Downey, Radiologic Technology, AAS. Michaela Ardubard, Baking Pastry Arts, AAS. Elizabeth Dunning, Digital Media, Associate of Science. Brianna Elledge, Hospitality Management, AAS. Dominique Eustace, Radiologic Technology, AAS. Frederick Evans, Audio Recording and Production, Certificate. Thomas Evans, Accounting, Associate of Science. Jennifer Furge, Baking Pastry Arts, AAS. Adriana Flamia, Criminal Justice, Associate of Science. Jessica Fogarty, Radiologic Technology, AAS. Darius Fritz, Animal Management, AAS. Amber Jamboni, Nursing, AAS. Bradley Goring, Nursing, AAS. Mackenzie Griffin, Criminal Justice, Associate of Science. Autumn Gromall, Business, Business Administration, AAS. Frederick Gard, Mechanical Technology, Mechanical Design, AAS. Jenny Guidotti. Hospitality Management, AAS. Alexis Gullo. Baking Pastry Arts, AAS. Madeline Hakes. Criminal Justice, Associate of Science. Jenna Hall. Liberal Arts and Sciences, Childhood Education, AA, and Teaching Assistant, Certificate. Emily Hatfield, Nursing, AA. McKenna Hearn, Baking Pastry Arts, AA. Health Studies, Associate of Science. Cassandra Hufford, Medical Assistant, AAS. Deara Jenkins. Individual Studies, AAS, and Teaching Assistant, Certificate. Molly Renee Jennings. Nursing, AAS. Jordan Johnson. Criminal Justice, Associate of Science. Sean Jones, Culinary Arts, AAS. Simone Joseph, Animation, Associate of Science. Gulmira Karas Hava, Radiologic Technology, AAS. Nicholas Kelsch, Nursing, AAS. Alyssa Kelsey, Human Services, AA. 
Cheyenne Latrice Kennedy. Baking Pastry Arts, AAS, and Baking and Pastry Arts Certificate. Cassandra Kirkado. Surgical Technology, AAS. GNL Kerr. Public Communication, Associate of Science. Jenna Kleino. Accounting, Associate of Science. Business, Business Administration, Associate of Science. Cassidy Cook. Nursing, AAS. Renoa Kriuski. Culinary Arts, AAS. Cassandra Kolbaki. Baking Pastry Arts, AAS. Rachel Color Cup. Early Childhood Studies, Certificate. Andrea Korek. Human Services, AA. Gina Marie Lackhick. Human Services, AA. Brandon Laform. Business, Business Administration, Associate of Science. Andrew LaPlante. Nursing, AAS. Sophie Lederhouse. Radiologic Technology, AAS. Ashley Lee. Hospitality Management, AAS. Alexandria Lewis, Nursing, AAS. Ethan Lind Key, Computer Science, Associate of Science. Samuel Lunetta Jr., Animation, Associate of Science. Danielle Mage, Nursing, AAS. Kelsey Malibur, Surgical Technology, AAS. Jelana Mallard, Surgical Technology, AAS. Paulina Masalo, Horticulture, AAS, and Horticulture Certificate. Nisha May, Criminal Justice, Associate of Science. Maynard, Nursing, AAS. Cameron McCarville, Personal Training Certificate. Katie McMahon, Animation, Associate of Science. Emily Metz, Baking Pastry Arts, AAS. Chester Miles, Human Services, AA. Amy Miller, Chemical Dependency Counseling, Certificate. Kaylin Miosi, Phlebotomist, Certificate. Michelle Mitchell, Nursing, AAS. Colin Montelion, Business, Business Administration, AAS. Ariana Morales, Liberal Arts and Sciences, Humanities and Social Sciences, AA. Jessica Morris, Surgical Technology, AAS. Maura Murphy, Culinary Arts, AS. Hannah Nakayama, Culinary Arts, AS. Jersey Neff, Human Services, AA.
Stephen Newton, Culinary Arts, AS. Juliana Nicoletti, Criminal Justice, Associate of Science. Carmen Maria Ortiz, Baking Pastry Arts, AS. Kiera Owen, Radiologic Technology, AS. Janine Parks, Radiologic Technology, AS. Jennifer Patrick, Radiologic Technology, AS. Amy Penn Q, Nursing, AS. Valeria Perez, Accounting, Associate of Science. Olivia Pishy, Accounting, Associate of Science. Edrima Pitts, Baking Pastry Arts, AS. Lindsay Powers, Radiologic Technology, AS. Michaela Preston, Baking Pastry Arts, AS and Culinary Arts, AS. Alicia Previte, Nursing, AS. Alexa Printip, Public Communication, Associate of Science. Nicole Pusateri, Phlebotomist, Certificate. Robert Rayleigh, Nursing, AS. Samantha Ranny. Hospitality Management, AS. Derek Remington. Brewery Operations, AS. Maggie Rennell. Liberal Arts and Sciences, Humanities and Social Sciences, AA. Alexandria Ritz, Liberal Arts and Science, Mathematics and Science, Associate of Science. Alicia Rivers, Radiologic Technology, AAS. John Rogowski, Sport Management, Associate of Science. Holly Shupp, Nursing, AAS. Jordan Scott, Psychology, Associate of Science. Love Septus, Computer Information Systems, Associate of Science. Brandon Shea, Brewery Operations, AAS. Emma Sheely, Radiologic Technology, AAS. Nicholas Simeon, Liberal Arts and Sciences, AA. Allison Smith, Baking Pastry Arts, AAS. Marissa Smith, Nursing, AAS. Kayla Smolinski, Nursing, AAS. Daisha Spidel, Surgical Technology, AAS. Madison St. Cyr, Baking Pastry Arts, AAS. Michaela Tarvin, Baking Pastry Arts, AAS. Alora Taylor, Accounting, Associate of Science. Business, Business Administration, Associate of Science. Joshua Tebow, Criminal Justice, Associate of Science. Marcella Walk, 
Nursing, AS. Tracy Walker, Criminal Justice, Associate of Science. Alexis Ward, Liberal Arts and Sciences, Humanities and Social Sciences, AA. Erica Weber, Radiologic Technology, AAS. Haley Wilkins, Surgical Technology, AAS. Stephanie Jennifer Worth, Surgical Technology, AAS. Elizabeth Wynn, Nursing, AAS. Amy Sapp, Health Studies, Associate of Science. Elizabeth Swath, Human Services, AA. This concludes the awarding of the Associate in Applied Science, Associate in Science, Associate in Arts, and certificates. You are now an official graduate of Niagara County Community College, and you may now move your tassel from the right to the left. Congratulations. Hello everyone, it's been an amazing two years. First and foremost, I would like to thank God for this blessing and my family and friends right after for supporting me. Congratulations, class of 2021. Thank you, NCCC, for providing the opportunity to gain knowledge, experience, and friendships during my time here as a student. It is these moments that I hold close to me in congratulating you all once more and wishing you the best of luck in the next steps of your journey. Congrats, Mommy! Congratulations, class of 2021. I hope you have a wonderful summer and I wish you all luck in your future endeavors. Hey everybody, shout out to the class of Pandemies and STEMI. Shout out to RateMyProfessor.com, You the Real Goat, and Black Lives Matter. I'm out. watching this thank you so much for believing in me and thank you for supporting me it's been a difficult journey but i finally made it the past two years have definitely been crazy but i am so happy to say that i am an NCCC graduate and a soon-to-be registered nurse I just wanted to say thank you to my friends, family, and professors who supported me through school. I'm so proud of myself, and congratulations, everyone. We did it. Bye. 
Hello, congratulations to everyone graduating today. As you go forward, remember as J.R.R. Tolkien once said, there's some good in this world and it's worth fighting for. I thank my family, especially my uncle, Marlon Grant, who sponsored me to come to the U.S. to study. Thank you. I love you. I just want to say thank you to my family and friends and everybody that's been so supportive of me throughout this whole entire journey. I really appreciate it and I truly do love you guys. Thank you so much. Yeah,